Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 10th of January and I have some news for you regarding Uncharted 4 A Thief's End as we have some comments from the creative director Neil Druckmann who has spoken on the combat stealth as well as a few other goodies. Now he was interviewed in a Game Informer interview and he basically said, among other things, that he wanted to achieve a wider, more sandbox feel that was extensively demoed in a video at the PS Experience late last year. And he went on to say, quote, With the verticality of Nathan Drake, with adding set pieces that weren't necessarily in this demo, how do you get a better flow, something that is deeper at an emotional level? All those things come together to make the Uncharted that we want to play. However, he then added that the milestone of releasing the demo will actually allow the team at Naughty Dog to focus on completing the project, which, as you may or may not know, is due out late this year. And then he said, quote, We have our vertical slice and we found our flow and the voice of this game. Now it's like, how do you expand on that? How do you flesh out that out across the entire experience, making sure it's got the proper pacing, it's got its ups and downs, it seems like an eternity from now until when we'll be finished with it. And then he went on to say that he was actually working on a big comic book style adventure but still in a world that will feel vibrant and real and one area that they're of course focusing on is the combat which is pretty damn key in pretty much any game but of course Uncharted well it's kind of known for its combat as well as its story and that sort of big Indiana Jones style set pieces. But he actually said, quote, To us, the Uncharted combat works best when it has a flow to it, when you're not just behind cover, shooting over and ducking back down, when your cover is getting flanked and you have to jump and move down to another level. And he also then went on to say that one of the examples of how the game is moving on from previous instalments in the series is that the more advanced use of stealth and traversal were going to be mixing things up quite a bit. So, there you have it, some... Um, Pretty nice information there from Neil Druckmann, kind of giving you an idea of what they're trying to achieve with Uncharted 4. Now, of course, they're going to keep all the key elements that you know and love from Uncharted, but it's still good that they're trying to change things up, freshen it, and perhaps work out any problems with the combat. I personally love it when the game challenges me to not just sit behind cover and pew 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 when I have to actually think strategically, and the enemies will flank you, they're actually smart. If you're behind cover, they will move so they can actually shoot at you, and rather than just sitting there and lying up like ducks on a firing line you know that's better than just you know chest high walls basically and of course stealth and traversal is pretty damn key for an uncharted gamer of course where you are just one man against many many people so that's gonna be pretty damn key i think and i'm actually liking the sound of this uncharted it's not a game i've played huge amounts of as I didn't actually go for a PS3 because it was too expensive when it first came out for me as a student at the time. But it does seem pretty damn cool and a very big, silly, comic book style adventure that, of course, is highly enjoyable. But I'd love to hear some thoughts from Uncharted veterans. You've heard my opinion as someone who's familiar with Uncharted but not super in-depth. I'd love to hear some thoughts from some of you guys who, of course, spent many, many hours with Nathan Drake and his adventures. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.